Warning, I say a lot of dirty words and I get really pissed off in this video, so viewer discretion is advised. When you unveil your brand new shiny console and your competitor stock goes up and your stock goes down, it's a pretty clear sign you might have fucked up a bit. Oh, so as most of you know, yesterday, <laughs> March 21st was the unveiling of the Xbox, the new Xbox. Everybody thought, hey, this thing's going to be called the Xbox Infinity. Well, it turns out that it's not. It's called the Xbox One. Um, it's about as stupid as calling, I personally think it's probably as stupid as calling the new iPad the new iPad. Um, that's beside the point completely. Um, we're going to start, we're going to get some good news and the bad news. Good news that came out of this conference. Steven Spielberg is directing a, a Halo TV series. That's awesome. The bad news is that everything else was just an absolute uh, disappointment. And I'm going to get into why I think these things, why I... Why, and, and, and more than likely, you don't have to listen to me talk about my personal opinions for you to have made your own and obviously are, are on the same page as me right now. If you're not on the same page as me, that's okay, because I'm about to get to what kind of person or what kind of gamer you are. Now, as I always, as I always do when I get angry about something, I take to the internet. And uh, normally I just take to Facebook. So when I got onto my Facebook today... I wrote basically in a hundred words what I'm going to spend 15 to 20 minutes talking about today. But um, I was pretty upset. But then a good friend of mine from a long time ago, her name was Chelsea, she posted a comment that perfectly illustrates the, the point that I'm going to be making as to why I was so pissed off and upset about this whole conference. As I went on and I explained why it was disappointing and upsetting to me, she, her comment was, apparently I am easily amused. Lol. And what does she mean by that? Apparently I'm easily amused. Well, basically what she was saying is, well, I enjoyed the conference. I must be easily amused because you obviously hated it. But that's not the case at all. What happened today is Microsoft walked out onto that stage. And after the seven or so years that their Xbox 360 has been kicking ass, right? Um, during that time, you and I as gamers on their platform have basically created them. You see, without us, the gamer, Microsoft would still be, uh, they probably wouldn't even be as good off as they are now. Uh, you know, they, they would only be known for basically their Windows operating system. But what happened back in the day, back in the mid 2000s, I, I think it's 2005, I can't even remember when it came out, is they released a console that appealed to you and I as gamers. They released a console that brought online multiplayer into the into the limelight because until then it had been LAN parties, you know. People didn't have that broadband internet. And so what they did was they pulled us together and then we bought their consoles like crazy because you know what? If there was a multiplayer game out there, we knew it was going to be played well on it was going to play well on the Xbox. We brought them to where they are today and what did they do they walked out onto that fucking stage and they acted like they didn't even know who the fuck we were they brought out a piece of hardware and they started pitching to the moms and dads of the world rather than the gamers of the world they said here is this beautiful thing you've been waiting for so long to see here's the beautiful thing that you are watching live right now the reason you're watching that is because you wanted to see a gaming console but no fuck that we're gonna show you TV we're gonna show you how you can plug your cable box up who the fuck has cable TV anymore I mean I have cable TV but the only reason I have it is because it was like literally nothing to get for the for four months and I could watch Game of Thrones without having to pay extra money for HBO Go. I won't have it after that. And I've lived my whole life without cable. And I've been fine. But no, they come on there and they show us, now you can move shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Couldn't we do that with the Kinect before? Oh, well, now it's fast. 
goes a little bit quicker. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe they're just getting this shit out of the way. And then they talk about Skype. Now you can Skype your buddy. Why the fuck do I want to Skype my buddy while I'm watching a movie? I mean, if I wanted my buddy to come over and watch the movie with me, I'd just ask him to come over. How is this much different than being in a private party with your... What I'm trying to get to is how is this much different than what we already have? Get to the good shit. So they move on. You know, they're like, all right, fine. You know, we tickled your nets a little bit. Now let's get to the good shit. NFL! ESPN! That's where it's at, right? That's what you guys wanted to see. No. I mean, when you look at me as a gamer, okay, do you assume that I am a humongous sports fan? Because I like to watch, or because I like to game, I am a humongous sports fan because ESPN offers games in the form of sports. I, the majority of gamers that I know are not sports fans or are kind of sports fans like me. They like some sports, but you know, it's not a big deal. How many sports games do you play? I mean, I don't play any. I mean, I don't know anybody who does. Any, any gamers I personally know don't play these sports games. There are a lot of people who do, and I'm not saying there aren't. My point is that this was the last thing on my agenda for the Xbox. This should have been like back in the in the background. But no, Xbox gets an NFL, they, they, they sign some shit with them. Now you got ESPN on your shit. Okay, all right, well, why is this big news to me? How does this pertain to what your, your box can do? It doesn't. That's the point. It doesn't pertain to what their box can do. It pertains to... Just some, some cool shit they wanted to tell you. Which segues into the, the, the chick from 343 coming out. And then, you know, you're like, oh, we're going to see some new Halo shit. No, it's Steven Spielberg. You know, that's some cool shit. But again, no game. This is a TV series. And then they're like, okay, now we get to the shit. Exclusive. Quantum Rift or whatever. Quantum Rift. And it's fucking half a live action show. They don't explain it. They show some half ass cutscenes, and they expect me to be excited about it. I'm not excited. Okay. You don't show me half of a gameplay trailer, half of, you know, some corny ass live action shit where some of the girls like, are you sure you don't know my secrets? Okay, bitch. Yes, yeah, for it. And she touches her ear and boom, you know, it's like, oh, now you're in the game. I don't like this, okay? I mean, I, I don't I don't like this personally. Maybe you do, it's your you know, it's an opinion, but that was not that didn't get me excited for anything. You didn't show me any games. And before I get a comment about it, well god dude, they're gonna show the games at E3, they're gonna they're gonna get all the game shit out of the, they wanna get all the game. Shut the fuck up, okay? First of all, just shut up. This was the unveiling of an Xbox. This was the unveiling of their console this wasn't a okay you guys already know what's coming we're gonna get this out of the way and in nine nine days 19 days you'll see the rest of it this was your chance to just blow me away this is where you pull out all the big guns and you just start pounding this was your event you set it up you telling me you didn't have the time you couldn't have spared maybe two and a half three hours instead of just one to show me what you had or just a, just a peek you have 15 exclusives from what you're saying. You couldn't have shown me five or six of them and then had enough left over for E3 where you really blew us away? No, instead you had to you had to come onto stage. You had to alienate the hardcore gamers and you had to, to sit there and bullshit us with some stuff that I don't I, I'm pretty sure none of us want. I mean, do you want it? I mean, leave a comment. Do you want it? The whole thing that Microsoft is doing is they're going after the living room. I don't game in my living room. I don't know many people who do game in their living room. Do you game in your living room? Or do you have your own room that you game in? I don't want cable TV in my game room. 
I don't want to be able to to watch ESPN in my, in my game room. I have a living room. I can go in there and just do whatever. I This is my game room. This is where I set all my shit up. My wife does not want to watch me play games. She wouldn't want me to watch in ESPN. She wouldn't want me to Skype my buddies in the living room. She want me to do it in mine. And I'm sure your mom and dad or your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, I'm sure they're the same way. Because not all of us are or just a unified marriage of gamers here. More than likely, it's the husband that's the gamer, or it's the son or daughter that's the gamer, or the dad that's the gamer. Tends to lean both ways. I know I'm being a little sexist here, but that's just how it is. Most of the adult parents, the moms, they don't like to watch that shit. My wife doesn't like to watch that stuff. My own son doesn't seem to even like gaming. Is he going to want me in there playing my game while he wants to watch Sesame Street? I could just see that getting out of hand. He's sitting in the background. He's all pissed off. And I'm sitting there playing Call of Duty or something. He's just like, Xbox Sesame Street. Boom, it flips over. I get, I flip the fuck out. I get pissed off. Okay, Xbox is recording me or something. They're always listening to me, like recording everything I say. So they're sending shit to 911 saying domestic dispute. Well, I chased my son around the house or some shit. That got out of hand quick. That's just not what I want. I'm getting worked up about it because I've had all damn day to think about it. I just, I wanted a gaming console. As a gamer, that isn't too much to ask. That a gaming console, on on the unveiling of the gaming console, I get what I asked for or what I, what I hoped for out of the, uh, out of the, out of the conference, out of the unveiling. But instead, I didn't. I got a cable box that, I mean, <laughs> that's all I got. It's a cable box that uses a connect. We're not even done here. It uses a, a connect. But that's not even the, that's not really not even the bad news. That's just the inconvenience of having to sit there for an hour waiting for something that wasn't going to, wasn't going to come. So check this out. You purchase a copy of a game, you put it in the console, you enter a code. Now you're able to play your game because it takes the game, it installs the game, you're good. Your buddy wants to borrow the game to see it, try it out, buddy's got to pay to play. He sits behind a payment wall until he makes the payment and gets the code. Now you've already experienced this to an extent if you've purchased a game like Battlefield 3 played the online multiplayer and then your buddies wanted to play it and you're like well you're gonna have to come over here because you'll have to buy the code you can't just take it to your house and have an evening with it alone <clears throat> fucking garbage that's garbage i mean seriously now they talk also about the big deal was, oh, you know, it's always going to be online. They've said, no, it's not going to be online. However, they've also said some shit that's really sketchy about that. Because they're always going to sit there and try and preserve their image. So what you have to look at is that they've also said that over time, the Xbox is going to be able to um, basically evolve in a way, I guess. So it's going to be able to take some of the processing off of the box itself and dedicate it to those 300,000 servers in the cloud. What that means is that game developers are now going to be able to develop games for the Xbox that are a little bit more um, they're a little bit more strenuous on the system because the the cloud is going to be able to back up take take some of that processing power off. So what that means is that yes, in order to play the game in which the developer uses the cloud to take the processing power down, you are going to have to be connected to the internet. Which means that these ga- these very ambitious developers are going to be like, well, we want to push this to the limits. We want to use the cloud so instantly it's an online only game. You see what I'm saying? Which also takes, you know, it takes cross-platform games out of the question because the as far as we know, the PlayStation 4 is not going to do something like this. I'm pretty sure they'd have said it if they were. So, because they're not going to be doing that, that means that, you know, uh, the, these two games can't come out for the, the two different consoles because, say, they have to decide, okay, are we going to make this? Well, they can if they make it for the PS4, but if they make something for the Xbox and they want to push it, they're not going to be able to port it to the PS3. 
because it's not going to be using the same stuff. You know what I mean? It's not going to be able to use the cloud in that manner. So that kind of, you know, twists things up. Whereas before it's like PS3, Xbox, you've got your exclusives. That's the only really reason to, real reason to have one or the other. Now it's like, well, I mean, now you have this to think about and, you know, the other to think about. And I mean, you got so much extra to think about. But what I, want to, what I want to put on to you to think about, and I know there's things I haven't covered, I'll cover them later in another video, but what I want, to th want you to think about is, what, is an analogy, what if you had two friends, right? And, you, you, you know, they, they, they really needed help for a test, and you sat them both down, and you said, okay guys, I, luckily I know, I know the, the, the material, I can help you. And they're both like, shit, hell, bring it on, man. And you're like, cool. So you help them both out. You get them learnt. You, you, you teach them what they need to know for the test, right? That day comes up and lo and behold, these guys blow everybody out of the water, right? They both do amazing on the test. They both rise to the top of the class. One does a little bit better than the other, but that's okay. And the teacher's like, you guys did awesome. Come up here. And they go to the front of the class and she says, Billy, how did you do it? And Billy says, my buddy Brad, he helped me with the test. And she's like, wow, that's awesome. Garrett, how about you? What did? How did you do it? I guess I'm just smart as shit, is what Garrett says. Do you go with Billy or do you go with Garrett? The PS4 who acknowledges the gamer or who has acknowledged the gamer and when they came out onto that stage, they didn't push a bunch of bullshit in your face. They said... This is a gaming system made for the gamer? Or do you go with dipshit over here who's like, piece of shit, fuck you. That's what it felt like to me. And if that's not what they meant to do, well, they did it very, very poorly, in my opinion. Because they, 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 they really catered to somebody who wasn't me. And they catered to somebody who wasn't a lot of people I know. And there's a lot of people out there playing it real safe right now. I'm not going to play it safe. I've got nothing to win or lose from this. All I can say is that as at this moment right now, I'm a PS3 or PS4 guy. I'm the guy going after the PlayStation 4 because they've completely destroyed any hope I had by, you know, just just pissing all over me. I don't know. I'm not a living room gamer. I'm a hardcore gamer. Don't cater to the people. I understand you're trying to build your fan base. Do it subtly. Do it over time. Put that TV thing in there after you've given me what I want, because I guarantee you, my mom and dad they didn't they they didn't stay, uh, you know, glued to their computer for three hours watching, you know, the the pre-show on IGN and then your show and then listen to them. They didn't sit there and go through that. So why did you cater to them? It's pretty pretty bullshit to me. Leave me a comment. Or an unsubscription, depending on how you feel about the subject. Because I'll tell you what, we were wrong today as gamers. And Microsoft's got a long way to go before I even think about purchasing the, the next Xbox. The Xbox One. I'm Viridia, and I'm out. Later!